What's going on, family? DC and that appliance repair coming to you today. So, you know, we out about a uh, later start to the day. Had some administrative tasks to take care of. We uh, brought on a new warranty company. Uh, heard good things about them through the community. Uh, they pay on time. That's the main thing. Um, it's a bit of a learning curve on how they do their pricing, but I didn't already figured it out. Uh, understand how they do the line item uh, breakdown on their pricing. So, um, looking at my numbers, we're gonna have to go back and review a few things because uh, I don't like. I don't know. I think they made some adjustments to my numbers, or maybe they didn't like it and they tried to put it where they wanted. We're gonna play those games. They definitely need sales system work. So, in order for me to do sales system, they got to hit my my target number, basically. What it boils down to. But, you know, we're going to get to it. Uh, we're getting Burrow worked out. Uh, haven't received a work order from them yet. But it's, it's just coming. It's just a matter of time. Um, got two more work orders from uh, another uh, company we brought on. We won't really talk too much about that, but they are coming with it. Uh, we'll be doing the first job for them. It's going to be pretty much first call complete. Um, go ahead and knock that out for them let them show them that we we, we, we about this life out here so yeah we, we getting to it we definitely getting to it bring it into work um and you know hitting our goals uh right now i'm on the way i had to add two more jobs to my contractors route for the day um been working through a little situation with a dryer ran into some Unexpected things happened. Basically, a belt broke while he was working on it. And stuff like that. A little easy stuff. Luckily, all parts were available right there in the uh, general area he was already in. So, quick, quick, fast in here. We get that knocked out. And, um, yeah, man, we just we just get into it. I'm going to drop these parts at our prescribed location where he can scoop them up and uh, close out these two jobs. And, you know, we can add it to our batch. Well, we'll add it to the batch that we're going to eventually invoice uh, out with that warranty company. So, man, it's just, man, we're moving and grooving, man. Uh, We out here, man, doing what it do. My business partner definitely uh, getting to it, the COD game picking up. Uh, You you know, we got property management COD, and then we got our regular COD. So I had two of my... uh, one customer was from warranty. They called me for some COD work. We did some real good uh, warranty work for them, clearly. Um, real real cool couple. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get them squared away. Um, and then uh, another one, another lady, she reached back out. Uh, while I was, when I fixed her Samsung, uh, basically the board had stopped working, sending signals that it needed to send uh, through the new board on, fix it up, got her squared away. She had made a comment about, you know, never having issues with her washer and dryer. And she got Samsung everything. I didn't even realize it because I didn't actually put eyes on the washer and dryer while I was there. But then she was like, that's, that's, that's karma coming back to me for even mentioning the washer and dryer and not having issues. Now I got an issue with the washer. But, you know, we got out there, got it diagnosed. And uh, I'll be going to scoop that part up today, uh, knock that out for her, get her squared away back online so she can... Uh, get back to washing and drying our clothes, man. Um, that's just what we do, man. We got some really awesome, uh, you know, very outstanding property management. So, uh, got the first check from the new property management that we deal with out in Kentucky. So, you know, I did two more jobs for them. Uh, closed them yesterday. So, you know, just building those relationships. So, yeah, we, we just out here on the grind, man. We appreciate that, man. Uh, those are great business relationships, man. You got to build those networks uh, with the reps. Uh, you know, the little team that they provide for you, depending on your region. And um, we're just really thankful for our, our customers, our actual real COD customers. I got COD customers that's on, uh, you know, already on recurring calls every six months. We can go out there. Do a drive-in cleaning for a lady in uh, Kentucky. Keep their uh, dryer squared away. And um, got another uh, property manager. I'm, we're now there. They don't have too many issues. They seem to be uh, more commercial 
rental properties and you know own businesses uh one was a hair salon uh they got washers and dryers in there so you know they use a speed clean every time i go out there to look at one it's always back working before i get there so you know speed clean is very reliable so i don't foresee them having a lot of issues but you know we take care of their drive and clean at the one salon and they own every six months so you know it's it's just a blessing to have, uh, you know, you know, establish these relationships, making a name for yourself in the um, community, man. And, uh, you know, people people take notice quick. Man. They take notice. They read reviews. They uh, they see what's up. And even though we've recently got a one-star review within the last two months, not because we did something wrong or anything, you know, somebody just really just being, being nasty because uh, they didn't actually say anything. Just somebody just trying to sabotage us. And it's okay, man. You know, people know, you know. I had a lady look at it. Uh, you know, she had somebody who had been trying to fix her ice maker and couldn't get it done. We came out, checked it out, and she even said, oh, yeah, you can't please everybody. So I was going to be somebody. But uh, overall, y'all, y'all look very good, man. Very good reviews. So even with the, the maliciousness of uh, this individual, we still, uh, we still win, man. We still win, and it's just a testament to our drive, determination, and uh, you know, just making sure we're doing what what we can do to assist our community move forward and, and uh, prosper. And, uh, just being a, you know, stand out, stand up citizens, man. It's basically what it boils down to. You know, doing to others as you want them to do unto you, man. That's too easy. Um, and uh, yeah. You know, so we, that's what we do, man. And, um, woke up this morning, you know, checking everything, you know, running through the accounts, looking at different things. Looked at the uh, ABC Facebook page, and um, guess when people are researching us, um, looking at our YouTube videos, um, looking to see if we got Facebook page accounts for our business, whatever the case may be. Um, not sure what these individuals are, some kind of affiliated with law enforcement, just your usual run-of-the-mill trolls, uh, people in the industry that just hate to see uh, African-American, well, black people be successful. Not sure what they are, but um, not saying that this person fell into any of those categories. I just found it very interesting. Um, I believe this person uh, was in one of the lives that Mike holds asking questions and you know we can tell based off of what you're asking if you're taking the course because we've taken the course so it's no need for me to answer a question that you can pay five hundred dollars to get the answers to um we actually uh like to see you know we put our money up invested in ourselves so we want to deal with people who really take this serious we're not going to just be answering your questions, just to answer them for you. And uh, let me just put this on the record. Um, I didn't buy any other courses. Um, I utilized uh, Mike's course. All uh, the resources he said he has suggested to us that we use that are, you know, are needed to be successful. And using those resources, I was able to uh, look at webinars, uh, read material, look at forums, and uh, you know, self-educate, basically what it boils down to being able to self-educate yourself and um believe in yourself um you don't need any of us to hold your hand we are here to we are definitely going to help you if you need help out there on the job and uh we just want to make sure that you are real about what you're doing and you invest in yourself because once you make that investment in yourself you get out there you got your llc and all the breakdown or order operation you need to go through to get your business legit up and running and insured. Once you've done all that, you've shown that you're ready and you're going to get out there and now we're not just talking to somebody that's not going to do anything with the information more than likely, you know. So, uh, you know, if you want to get the information, you know, invest in yourself. Let everybody know that you about you real about this and people are going to help, man. The ABC Network is strong, man. That you see the gentleman, I don't even really, you know, I answer questions, uh, but them brothers is out there running, doing their thing everywhere, like myself. Uh, 
They posting checks. They letting you know. They even getting paid by companies that didn't pay me. I need to know that what kind of magic they using out there. You know what I'm saying? They got choice to pay. Yeah, choice is garbage. You know. And maybe if I'd have, you know, not cut ties with them, maybe they would eventually cut my checks. But you know, I'm not gonna let nobody, uh, you know, one, um, not pay me on time. Uh, try to tell me how to price my job that they agreed to my pricing. It ain't happening. You ain't gonna strong arm me. You ain't gonna force me to take BS rates. You know, you you say as you want it. You know, we entered in a contract agreement. You gonna honor the agreement? That's the bottom line. So you know. I guess to me, you got to stand for something at the end of the day. Um, I'm just not going to, you know, take no take no BS, especially when you got a contract on paper to show up. Solid numbers, you know. With that being said, that's all off task. But to those people um, that's just trying to get this for free, more than likely just, you know, skeptical. You know, maybe they're skeptical. I don't know. You know I'm not going to speak for anybody. They need to speak for themselves, and they actually need to invest in themselves. Uh, not answer any questions that answer, that Mike had, can an, has answered in his uh, training. And when it came to SEAL system, if you want to know, um, I looked at Mike's course. I woke up one morning prior to Mike's course even coming out and just decided to get my EPA. And I went and got my EPA. I didn't let nothing stop me. I asked no thousand questions on how to get the EPA. I knew I needed at least a type one, and I went and got what I needed to uh, get my business to the next level. I mean... You know, we got a powerful tools out here that has made the world very small. Um, access to the proper information. All you got to do is take the time to get out there and find it. Um, ask questions if you want to verify if this is legit or not. That's that's what people will definitely answer quick, fast, and hurry to help you out to get you uh, moving in the right direction. But just to sit there and think we're just going to answer all these questions that have already been answered not only in the course, but through uh, all the rights videos. You don't want to take the time, but I took the time. Nah, yeah. You, you kill that madness, man. That's This is me speaking. Um, definitely not Mike speaking. I'm speaking for myself. It's just how I get down. Um, you going to have to do some work, man. Sad. You know, I didn't get it for free. Um, I actually paid for the course back when it was 800 And the online was 1000 So I spent 1800 best 1800 I ever spent in my life uh, made it all back and um, when I finally got on with the right companies back in December of last year made it all back in about two weeks that's everything all startup costs uh, you can do that quick fast this this is um, peak season right now so I, you know I've already, we've already seen our uh, work orders increase dramatically drastically you know so it's, it's definitely good uh these are great issues to have um more work orders more possible revenue um that's what it all boils down to at the end and uh, just gets us make sure we tighten up on everything all aspects to make sure we are uh diagnosing and getting to back to the work in a timely manner to make sure we win those hearts and minds one fix at a time doing right by the warranties customers by our customers and everything by our program management well, property management customers and all that so man um it's we, we well past proven concept uh, mike's already shown um his 20 years of experience and where it put us 20 years ahead of people that might have been running for the last you know we're we're ahead of those people who didn't understand the business side we understand the business side thoroughly and, you know, we still, you know, we got to work on our technical stuff from time to time. But with the amount of people that are running, um, when we start to talk and we, sh we sh the technical stuff gets done. We get it done. Um, we use every resource that we have available to get get to the right answers to make sure we are, we can close them as fast as possible and close them right. We, we understand, we're understanding diagnostics. We're, we're, we're looking at the data, getting the learning lessons, where we might have went wrong on calls, you know, what we might have overlooked. You know, I was just talking to Slick about a washer today that, you know, um, everything pointed to all this other stuff and it ended up being something totally different, you know. But we, we, we got to it. We didn't 
we didn't give up on the job because the warranty was ready to give up on it. No, we, we, we stuck to it and said, yeah, we can make this happen. We made it happen, man. Um, that's, that's what it is. That's what it is, man. Um, where there's a will, there's a way, man. So at the end of the day. And, um, yeah, man, we just going to keep getting to it, man. We appreciate uh, all the subscribers. Uh, we got a few new ones. Thank you uh, for just even taking the time to even look at two seconds of a video, man. I appreciate it, man. Um, and uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, make them. Uh, if you want to hear me talk about anything, let me know. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to keep it really uh, to the point. You know, it's my day-to-day. -day. Uh, we're not going to be getting into the numbers because numbers tend to uh, uh, infuriate people. I guess they don't want to uh, see others being successful. It's a very sad situation. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. You get to see my day-to-day. -day. I'll talk about it. I'm pulling up on uh, the drop location now. Put these parts here. My guy come through, swoop, swoop. Go knock out the rest of these calls this afternoon. I'm going to go grab parts and knock out some uh, CODs, man. And yeah, we just rocking, man. We are uh, rocking. And uh, we got another LG coming up tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Tomorrow afternoon. I wanted it in the morning, but you know, got to accommodate those customers, man. Make sure they're good to go. So, um, till next time, family. Peace.